Lord afternoon and welcome to Boundary Park here in Greater Manchester for this afternoon's Panorama National League clash. All change for role them at the moment. David Untworth has replaced club icon John Sheridan as manager and he's made no hesitations about making some changes with Francis Jeffers coming in as first team coach and John Rooney, the former Wrexham man, going straight into today's starting lineup for the Latics. A huge roar from the Wrexham fans as their team make their way out of the tunnel. And the Wrexham team will go through as follows. One change for Wrexham with Callum McFadden replacing the injured Jacob Mendy. Both sets of fans in fine voice as Tollett gets the game underway. Long ball forward looking for Fondop. And can Luke Young put the delivery in to threaten the Oldham defence? Young's ball goes into the box. Well headed back by Jordan Davis. Hayden gets there. Lou Ping gets just onto the roof of the net. Jordan Davis did really well to head that cross back across goal. And Hayden's looping header. Caught everyone by surprise, I think, and just landed on the roof of the net. And can he find a red shirt? Corner goes in. Hayden couldn't quite get there. Handball surely there. Looked like it struck a hand off the knee and looked like there was one and here come Oldham on the break it's Ben Tollett's caught them out he's one on one with Anthony Ford Tollett got the shot away but really well defended by Ford watched him all the way his toes are placed to Cluith McFadgen just sort of options there just looks when Wrexham do go forward trying to just carve out an opportunity it's Jordan Davis into Palmer and it's just what hope that Mullet was behind him there's a thumbs up there from Mullet and Toes has been robbed by Fondop and as he gets past Hayden as well gets the shot away and it's gone into the bottom corner and it's the former Wrexham man Mike Fondop that puts all of them ahead at Boundary Park the first goal of the David Hunter theory and Wrexham won't want to see that one again. But it shows the battle and the runabout from Fonda earlier in the game. And he lashed onto that ball, beat Tozer to it, got past Hayden. And Boundary Park is bouncing. A Kagbo. across to Carragher and Anthony Ford presses Carragher well but the young centre back does well to win the ball back and holds on to it as Wrexham win the free kick and rightly deserved as well as Mullin goes down there was there a challenge on Paul Mullin off the ball went down straight away and the referee's got a decision to make here it'd be interesting to see Mullin down, the referee not allowed the physios to come on and now they are and he's got a huge decision to make here because if there was contact with Paul Mullin and he went down holding his face and that has to be a red card by the letter of the law, it'd be really interesting. Jones cuts across the ball looking for Tozer, Mullin gets the head on it headed away and no red shirts there and Fondop can deal with it and that is half time at Boundary Park a big 45 minutes for Wrexham the opportunity to go top of the National League Chesterfield losing as well but Notts County currently occupy the league leaders position into Jordan Davis didn't quite get the execution on that that he wanted as John Rooney plays into stops Max Clewitt does well to read the play it's McFastin has another late tackle on him again. Davis hurried by John Rooney and Fondop comes away with the ball. Fondop still going. Can he get the shot away? He does. 
and it goes wide but it showed the strength of John Rooney to win the ball back Thunbop held off about four players on his way through and it went just wide of Mark Howard's goal Jordan Davis with the ball in Palmer can flick it forward McFadgen with the ball across looking for Davis headed away well again that time by Clark Paul Mullen wins the ball back goes to Elliot Lee Paul looking for Davis Palmer didn't quite get there and McFadgen does really well against Fond up there Anthony Ford on the right hand side doesn't have many plays in support around him just really well to get through and commits the tackle by Cooper that's better from Wrexham James Jones on the right hand side place Anthony Ford and can he get the cross and he does and it's headed back across goal by the older man and slightly better from Wrexham being a bit more direct it's his toes are high up the pitch into McFadgen can he get the cross and McFadgen gets the ball in goes across to Hayden Wrexham committing men forward now as Tolly brings the ball away Fund up's there and it's a 3v3 with Roberts joining the attack Fund up goes to him but it's just a loose pass in the end by Fond up. Jones lays it off Ford there again Ford puts the cross into the box Elliot Lee rising and Elliot Lee's header saved there's the first shot on target for Wrexham They've been under in deep conversations as well with his bench. Looks like Oldham will be making a tactical change. Key okay, toes it. Back to James Jones. Callum McFadgen. Into Wally Palmer. Gets in behind well. Palmer cuts the ball back. Mullin goes down in the area appealing for something. And Callum McFadgen does well to intercept. Fondop takes the ball down Davis does well and John Rooney with a strong tackle that's a dangerous one but Oldham escape looked off the ball by John Rooney Elliot Lee bringing the ball away well for Wrexham Jordan Davis is there Luke Young into the path of Jones. Elliot Lee can pick up the ball. Can he get the shot away? Pulls it across to McFadgen. Puts the cross into the box. Just beats Mullin. Anthony Ford's there. Puts it across. Just above Elliot Lee. Mullin can strike. And just wide by Mullin. Appeals for a handball in the corner. Given, but that's better from Wrexham. Better attacking football, putting balls into the box. For a Wrexham goal kick, Howard wastes no time by getting play back underway. Elliot Lee with a great ball into Wally Palmer on the far side. Callum McFadgen's there, can he get the cross in? Luke Young urged to shoot by the fans and shoots. And there was a bit of movement on that one from Luke Young. And it was parried by Norman, but it was dealt with just about. Surely Wrexham should have failed to kick start from where they were. And they are. Elliot Lee has the ball. What can he do here? Gives it to Paul Mullin. Mullin plays it across looking for Dolby. And Oldham clear it away again. Toza. Forced forward by Cooper, well pressed. And Howard clears it long. Toza being held, but Jordan Davis looks to get the rebound. Palmer gets there. Through to Jordan Davis, who can strike and puts it wide. It 
it looked like it might just nestle in the bottom corner on his wrong foot but more positive signs for Wrexham it's Luke Young again puts the ball into the box of the near post lets it bobble through still not cleared and just about away in the end for Oldham last it's defending it's Luke Young look for an option now wide it's only Palmer it's there, smart play by Palmer to hold it up well. Lee McClendon back on the left hand side drives down the line. Can he get the cross away? Good ball into the area, headed away well. Tozer at the back post. Tozer tries to get the shot away. Elliot Lee back to Tozer. Tozer can he shoot? Ben Tozer scores! Rexham back in the game! And it's the club captain that's got it! And listen to that rapturous noise from behind the goal. 2,500 Wrexham fans loving every second of it. And the goal was coming. An excellent strike. From Ben Tozer. Can take the free kick. Looking for Fondop again, the target man. Luke Young heads it clear. Hayden leaves that one well. And Mark Howard can kick the ball long, looking for Palmer. And it bounces over from Ollie Palmer. Through on goal. Paul Mullins there, back pass. Beat and Ollie Palmer gets there, it's saved. <laughs> chances for Wrexham, Luke Young goes down and it's a penalty to Wrexham we said there'd be more twists and turns and a really naive challenge Luke Young did brilliantly to go and win the ball really good play by Luke Young battling and the ball falls to Paul Mullin so many times there's been late goals in games under Phil Parkinson the never say die attitude and it was real battling by Wrexham and Luke Young the captain to win the penalty deep into added time and can Paul Mullin make it goal number nine of the season it's Mullin to win it for Wrexham and he scores who else but Paul Mullin? Just listen to that noise. They've done it again. 1-0 down in the 85th minute and 2-1 in added time. As Phil Parkinson side go top of the league. Wow, there is not much more you can say. And there can't be too much longer now. Left to play. Oldham fans leaving in their dozens. They've trained well, they've played hard. Oldham worked really hard in this game to get the lead, but they just looked tired at the wrong time. And Palmer can hold the ball in the corner. And it's an Oldham throw. The referee looks at his watch. How long left is there in the game? We've... And it's a Wrexham throw. And that is the full time whistle. It's finished Wrexham 2, Oldham 1. A superb turnaround in the last 10 minutes. Courtesy of Ben Tozer and Paul Mullin. What a win, what a performance by Wrexham. And that three points takes them top of the National League.
The never say die attitude from Wrexham once again. 